Before installing KDE Plasma on Linux Mint, it's essential to ensure your system is up to date. Open a terminal and run the commands apt update and apt upgrade. This updates the package list and installs the latest versions of available software, helping to avoid potential conflicts during the installation process. Keeping your system updated is a crucial first step to ensure a smooth KDE Plasma setup. The next step is to install KDE Plasma on your Linux Mint system. You have three options. For the full KDE Plasma setup, which includes the entire KDE software suite with tools, games, and utilities, use the command sudo apt install KDE full. This requires about 3.4 GB of disk space. For the standard setup, which includes extra applications like text editors and system utilities, use the command sudo apt install KDE standard. This option uses around 1.5 GB of disk space. For a lightweight setup, you can install the minimal KDE Plasma environment with essential components using the command sudo apt install KDE Plasma desktop. This option requires only 1.2 GB of disk space. In this tutorial, we will proceed with the minimal installation using sudo apt install KDE Plasma desktop. This is a great choice for a streamlined desktop environment, and the installation may take a few minutes to complete. During the installation, you may be prompted to select a display manager, typically between SDDM and LightDM. While SDDM offers better integration with KDE Plasma, I recommend selecting LightDM to keep the default display manager used by Linux Mint. Use the arrow keys to navigate and press Enter to confirm your choice. If no prompt appears, the system will retain its existing display manager configuration. While we wait for the installation and reboot, did you know? Linux Mint is one of the most popular Linux distributions worldwide because of its simplicity and user-friendliness. It's based on Ubuntu and Debian, and it comes preloaded with essential software, making it an excellent choice for both beginners and advanced users. After the installation is complete, reboot your system to switch to KDE Plasma. Open a terminal and run the command sudo reboot. Once the system restarts, you'll arrive at the login screen. Here, click on the gear icon or session chooser and select Plasma X11 as your desktop environment. Log in, and you'll be greeted with the KDE Plasma desktop interface ready for use. You may now want to configure your screen resolution and verify your KDE Plasma desktop version to ensure everything is set up correctly. Thank you for watching. If you found this tutorial helpful, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more Linux tips and tutorials. See you in the next video.